Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this problem set. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. And the derivative of, of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So that is um, this one over here. Okay, and then we'll skip question two. Go down to question three. So then the derivative here is um, negative, oops, negative 9x squared plus 2 cosine of x. And then that's question four, so that it's an even one. So let's go to the next um, problem set. So here again, derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. I would have changed my 5 over x to be 5 to x to the negative first power, so that's minus 5x to the negative second. Your logarithm, so f prime of x. Um, the derivative of log is um, 1 over uh, ln of x, I should put the x first, x ln of 2. The derivative of sine is a positive cosine, but there's a negative sign here, so this is minus cosine of x. Um, here, y prime, um, bring down the 2, subtract by 1, and then the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x. Um, question 7, f prime of x. So again, this is 1 over x ln of 7 minus the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine. And then question 9, more logarithms. Wow giving you guys a lot of logarithms. x ln of 4 minus the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So the 4 stays in the numerator, and then the goes to, x goes in the denominator, because technically it would be like taking 4 and multiplying by 1 over x. Okay, and then question 10 is an even one, so that's it for this problem set.